fucked up. I fucked up. I hurt a lot of people that I shouldn't have, that didn't deserve it. And that is not who I want to be. That's not who I want to be at all. And I'm sorry. I, I'm wrong, I did wrong. Sorry to all those women, I'm sorry to Gina. I never meant to do that, but I did. And I take full responsibility, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all those people of color that I've hurt for what I've said. And to those that reached out, showed me grace and kindness, those black and Native American people that told me about their stories I'm sorry to all those people of color that I've hurt for what I've said. And to those that reached out, showed me grace and kindness, those black and Native American people that told me about their stories and what they've been through, showed me a way forward when they had every right to just destroy me. Thank you. Your example has shown me that I don't want to be a part of any more division or hurt. I just want to help unite. I've let a lot of good people down. I've let you down. I've let my friends down. I've let my family down. I've let myself down. And I appreciate those that have defended me have defended me, but please don't. Not this time. I was wrong. I take full responsibility for what I've done wrong. And I'm gonna get better. I'm getting treatment, I'm seeking help. And I'm gonna be taking a break from content creating so that I can take my recovery seriously and focus on getting better. Because the man I am now is not the man I want to be. So, I'm sorry. Leave me the fuck alone, actually. I fucking hate everything in my fucking life. You don't know what the fuck I've been through. Please stop. Stop. This is actually a really good question. I was getting it a lot. I dated him because he was good at molding himself into what you would want. Specifically you. That's why for a while I had a really hard time accepting what he did. I get all these messages from women saying that he treated them terribly the way he spoke to them and whatever. We had never argued or anything. So when he randomly just up and left, I was super confused. But I guess now everything makes sense, right? So I'm gonna say it here, and you guys can fucking clip this if you want to. Here's what I'm calling. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a bet right now. Here's what I'm calling. Okay. He's gonna come back randomly mm -hmm. in like a, a week or a couple weeks or whatever, a month or whatever, yeah. and he's going to claim that he really took a <laughs> good look at himself and realize his wrongdoings and yeah. he's changed now because he's gone to therapy and all that stuff i can guarantee you he's going to come back and be like you know i realized what i was what i what i did was wrong and i promise you like i've changed now who i was then is not who i am now it's going to be some really fucking like cliche shit some like ex boyfriend shit yeah yeah. Some toxic ex-boyfriend that never changes type of shit. Mm -hmm. Because he's a very distinct eyebrows. Like, he, he just, he constantly looks angry for no reason. That's how thick his eyebrows are. Like, that shit, that shit, that fool could win the lottery and he'll still look upset. <laughs> so, like, I'm like, and I'm like, oh, interesting. I was like, I'm, you know, you don't think much of this. And so, like, when you were so upset, I was like, oh, what's going on? I was like, oh, my God, that's terrible. Like, what's he doing here? Well, I don't know how how he can. So, yeah, walk up to his car. I was like, 
whoa, 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 what's going on? What's going on here? And he bangs on his door, his window. <laughs> he opens up the door and then Ant goes, oh, sorry, I was looking for Gina. <laughs> and then since he knows jujitsu, he rolled on his back. He's like, let's go. That's what he did. <laughs> That's what he did. He was like, let's go. He showed his little white belt. He's like, I, I can do this. <laughs> And then Ant goes to my car, which is right behind. He comes over to my door. He's like, hey, I got you a chicken sandwich. I was like, did you just bang on his door? He's like, yeah, I wanted to see what the girl looked like. I to him, him flexing, like, his one year in the Navy is literally like me saying, like, yo, man, I joined this gang. It's like, what's that gang called? Don't worry about it, cuz. Key Club. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, we, we, we gathered up. We had plans and shit. Yeah, we were helping our community. I'll never go back, babe. That's all I remember. <laughs> I said that I'm sorry. I gave you the clap. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. I swear. You probably should go get that shed chick right now. Most likely, when you go pee, you probably go out. <laughs> I'm riding away in the sunset in my Camry. <laughs> I got kimchi in my trunk, two kids and a family. <laughs> my name is Reed. Your boy got chlamydia on his pee pee. My name is Reed. Thank you, everybody. My name is Reed. You give an ugly guy a chance, he thinks he rules the world. Liter I swear to God, because they got a hot girl, they can be horrible. Like, you're still ugly, though. Two days ago, I uploaded a video, and it seems like a lot of people were offended. And so I would like to take this time to personally apologize for absolutely nothing. Hi, is this the audition for the role of Reed Choi? Yeah. Uh can I get into character real quick? I just feel so much better. I just... I just like okay, this. camera ready. Ready and action. Hey, everybody. Um, I've, I fucked up, you know? Wait, line up. Oh, hi there, We Choice Korea Boo. I was wondering when you would get here. I'll have you know I've been calling out Reed's misogynistic, shitty content even before he became exposed as a chlamydia clown. And no, I won't stop because you don't get to tell me what to do, especially when there are underage girls writing to me how they felt victimized. And his sorry-ass apology that he had to make just because he got caught, well, that doesn't cut it for me, so. I guess I'm just a girl's girl. I don't thirst after angry bird browed dollar store knockoff Korean opars like you do, so. <laughs> Stop silencing women who are trying to protect girls from predators. Okay? Set, bear.